How's it different from other approaches? Well, probably uh, the posterior approach, as you can see, can you see that? What I'm going to point out here is the different anatomy here, is when a posterior approach is done, you actually have to cut through some of the muscles in the hip. And so we think the downside of that, if you see all these muscles being cut, is those have to heal themselves. And so with that, essentially, uh, that may cause you to have more difficulty in your acute recovery, but also long term, because if those muscles don't heal well, then you may still have some weakness after the hip has been replaced. Other thing with the posterior approach, all that means is the incisions on the buttock area, is you have these hip precautions. Essentially, hip precautions mean that you can't cross your legs over, um, you can't essentially, if you're going to use a restroom, for instance, a lot of times you have to have an elevated uh, toilet seat, and that essentially uh, are these precautions are going to be used in the posterior approach because those muscles have been cut around the hip. And so essentially, that I think it can be a short-term disadvantage, but then also something that you may not want to encounter, and that's, I think, what an advantage of the anterior approach is you don't have these posterior precautions. Anterior lateral, very similar. Now the incisions move to the side of the hip. And uh, with this, we, um, when this is done, you also have to have cutting of the muscles. So very similar to the posterior approach, you may require some of the precautions that are involved with the uh, cutting of the muscle.